I want y'all to do something. Imagine somebody that you love. They just left the house on their way to work. You kissed them goodbye. You told them you love them. And they walk out of the house on their way to work. And you know that they're going to be just fine. Because they aren't doing anything wrong. They're on their way to work. They're doing the right thing. You think in your mind. Right? But then... All of the sudden. On March 4th, 2022, Tyler Canaris was on his way to work, casually listening to music, when suddenly, Paulding County Sheriff's Deputy McMaster pulled up alongside him, turned on his emergency lights, hopped out of his cruiser, and beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Why? Because he was a male wearing a backpack. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get your hands out of your Tyler suffered a broken collarbone and a fractured skull from this vicious attack by a cowardly, impatient toddler who refused to treat the situation like a proper human being would. I swear, these guys sit around watching replays of MMA and pro wrestling events and daydream about trying out these moves they see on TV, and they get to stand behind qualified immunity to carry out their twisted desires. Now, you get the phone call that the person that you love is in the hospital with a fractured skull and a broken collarbone because of the police. The people you support, the people you stand behind, the people you trust so much. The people that you call on other people because your feelings are hurt. Not because they did a crime. Oh, he's recording. Oh, he's standing on the sidewalk. Oh, he's walking through my community. Oh, he's sitting in a car. Yeah. This is what you ask him for when you support the thin blue line. You are supporting terrorism, genocide, maniacs, and you are treasonous against America. You support domestic terrorism. If you think this is just fine, keep supporting the thin blue line 
until the thin blue line crosses you. Disgusting.